All right, good morning guys. This is an FSD 14.1.3 uh, test loop video. I used to do these test loops in the version 13 days and I haven't done one on version 14 yet. So I figured I should do that before it changes a bunch. Um, I'll start the drive. And the first thing that's different is on every other test loop, I've started facing the other way because there was no way for the car to back up the way it's going to right now. So already I'm kind of having to modify it to make it tougher for the car because you're gonna see there's a bunch of stuff we're gonna do along the way that the car just couldn't have done back in the day. Um, for this whole drive, I'm gonna keep it in standard and I'll just critique things. I think just going through the whole test loop, I think we're gonna do just about everything right. The only issues I can see are that we're probably gonna speed in a school zone. So like from an intervention standpoint, I'm gonna to have to scroll back the wheel to sloth. So there is still room for improvement, but I mean, thinking about how this car was the first time I did this test loop to how it behaves today, it's insane how far it's come. Um, and also assuming I put this out today, this is FSD's like fifth birthday. So I have not been using FSD for five years, probably closer to two years. So in that time I've seen like remarkable improvement. I can't imagine what it's like for the people that have been using it in five years. But to talk about it, we're at a stop sign. As of right now, there is no rolling stops. Who knows, maybe that will change. But for now, we still come to a full stop. Great job though, it was pretty quick coming off it. Felt very good. And then through here, we're going at good speed. The speed limit is 50, but I'm happy to go 47. Like it feels very normal. In the past, the car has kind of struggled with it. It almost treats this like a four-way stop at times where if vehicles are coming. Um, vehicles coming from the left, it'll think are gonna stop because there's speed bumps. I think it's gotten better. So it's good. We're, we're definitely yielding for these vehicles. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we we're gonna be in a school zone right here. 30 kilometers an hour is the speed limit. We're going 32, 34, 35. So you can see the car currently does not adhere properly to school zones, unfortunately. My fix for that is to roll the wheel back to sloth and the car will now only go 30, which is, it works, it's a fix. Um, I just don't like that. I don't, I don't think the car should speed in any profile. So that's unfortunately still a problem. And then the issue we also run into is when you leave a school zone, at least here in Canada, in BC, um, I'm putting it back to standard, by the way. When you leave a school zone, you don't see a speed limit again. The car did actually do a really good job right now updating to 50. Sometimes we get stuck in that 30 kilometer an hour like speed limit and the car will be stuck going slow outside of the school zone. So I've remarked on that in the past. We'll see how it goes up here. Okay, so I'm gonna edit the trip and as soon as we get to this dead end, I'm gonna delete this stop and the car's gonna be kind of forced to, uh, I'll do it right up here. In the past, it's gone further down. Um, for whatever reason, it's deciding to turn around here. But regardless, we're seeing the same behavior. Like we're seeing what is a three point turn to get us around to be super critical. The car is a little bit jerky right there. So that is something that could definitely be improved is the car's just like smoothness uh, when doing moves like that. I, I think there's a lot of like logic that can be improved upon as far as um, backing up is concerned. There's lots of times where it should back up more and put itself in a better scenario so that when it's going forward, it doesn't need to make an extra move. Definitely something I would like to see fixed in the future. All right, so turning right at the stop sign here, we have pedestrians on our right, but we should be very clear to go. We shouldn't wait for them. Nice job. So we are in what is like a park zone dusk till dawn. Um, technically the speed limit's 30. We'll see. And there's a bunch of speed bumps here also is the thing that we're testing. So dusk till dawn 30. Um, 
I think we're gonna end up going that speed just because of all the speed bumps. But again, you can see that we're going over 30. The car technically is failing this, I would say. Passing on the speed bumps, really good job. But as far as like adhering to a speed limit that I think it should be strict on, it is not doing that properly. But it's slowing down really good for the speed bumps. In early versions, it's definitely missed these before. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm talking about. We're out of the park and the car still thinks it's 30. So for like a fix to that, 43 isn't like horribly slow for this area, but the speed limit is 50. So we're going under the speed limit and not for any reason other than the car is genuinely just confused about what the speed limit is. You could fix that by scrolling up to hurry. And now the car should go a little bit faster and then beyond that I can go to Mad Max. That is something I would like to see fixed in the future. Okay, nice job on the traffic circle here. We're signaling out. I'm putting it back into standard now. Um, traffic circles again are really good with FSD. The only thing that does happen sometimes in version 14.1.3 is if you have a vehicle coming from your sides and it's coming like it's coming in, it's clearly going to stop, but it's moving towards you. The car will sometimes like hesitate and do like a brake jitter. So that's definitely one of version 14's biggest issues right now today is brake jittering around people and cars. So just to have that as a data point, that is something I would like fixed. Like see how we're, right, that what we just did there? How we kind of put on the brakes really hard for that girl, but then continue to go. That is the behavior that I don't like in version 14. All right, so turning right here, we're now going behind a hospital. There is a chance we could see an emergency vehicle, which as a version 14, 100% is something that the car can handle and it will pull over for emergency vehicles, which is a huge, huge improvement over previous versions of FSD. There are also a bunch of speed bumps through here, so let's see how it does. For those of you that don't know, as of version 14 as well, we don't really have an option. Here's a speed bump, amazing job. Really, really good here. Uh, we don't have an option to scroll back the speed, so whatever speed the car wants to go in this standard profile we're kind of like beholden to that speed uh, nice job of scrolling or slowing down here for the speed bump so that is something that perhaps will get fixed in the future who knows a lot of people are like undecided good job on the speed bump i don't think we've ever done this whole test loop and gotten every single speed bump perfect so that right there is a marked improvement over version 13 really good job um, yeah, taking away speed control is something that people are kind of on the fence about right now. I could see a world where it works out, but I could see a world where for a while Tesla brings it back. Okay, that car pulled out in front of us. We didn't even slow down, but in a good way. Like the car wasn't hesitating because it knew that we weren't going to cross paths with it. So really, really good job. Okay, nice job through here. Just a good comfortable speed. Nothing really noteworthy. This is kind of just a residential area to see how the car drives through here. Again, in previous versions, the speed control felt kind of all over the place. Like the car wouldn't really go a consistent speed and would bleed speed a lot. So you'd be going 50. And then if you're going straight for a while, you go 49, 48, 47. That's for sure gone now. Like the car is a lot better about going like a good speed for a significant amount of time. It's hard to explain, but it is just much, much, much better. Like all the speed profiles are very usable now. Previously, you'd have to go into hurry and tap the accelerator to get the car up to a speed that felt more natural for the road. Okay, so our next little spot here is we are going to um, a business, which as of version, when we we're going through version 13, the car would pull in here and not park for us because destination parking was 100% not integrated yet. As of version 14, we can click on this, we can say at destination, 
and I can say park in the parking lot. Um, that might get more specific in the future because they said like parking lot is something they're still working on. A little bit of a brake jitter there. But for right now, even still, we're gonna do a really good job pulling in here, finding a parking spot, and either nosing in or backing in. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so up here we should get into the middle turn lane. Um, again, in the past, FSD has made mistakes and pulled into that like construction area. We wanna go in here, this dance studio. And then we'll wait for a nice break in traffic, hopefully. I'd say we're gonna get pretty lucky here. We could for sure go after this Jeep and before this next car, if we're quick about it. So I would go right now. Nice job, perfect, really smooth. Okay, yeah, so like I said, this is a spot where in the previous test loops, I would always have to take over. The car just couldn't do this properly. Um, let's see what happens. Looks like we're gonna back in. And this is something, again, just to be critical of it, that I think full self-driving could improve upon. It, this move could have been done in one go instead of how we just did back up, stop, back up. Um, just room for improvement. Incredible that the car is doing this, but something that could definitely be done better. Okay, so we will leave here. I will tap the button to start full self-driving. We're gonna pull out. I'm trying to force it to go left, but it's hard, like. Okay, so we're gonna get super lucky because this is a, I was hoping to get us to sit in the middle here to make this left-hand turn because it's a four lane highway. Um, there just was no traffic, so it got straight across right away. Really good job though. And a small thing that please pay attention to the road to give a data point as well. Nag still exists today in full self-driving. So as of right now, um, the nag is still there. As of 14.1.3, it feels like it's maybe reduced a little. It, it's definitely still there and it still bothers you. But the go away time, like if I look away from the car, look away from the screen for a bit, and I'm just trying my best to look away, but also pay attention to the road. But the police pay attention to the road. It, if my eyes even look up, it instantly goes away. It didn't used to be like that. So I do think the nag is like changing ever so slightly, but there is no world where I can be on my phone during this whole thing. Who knows though, there could be a version of FSD soon where that does happen because we are close to it, it feels like. The car, as we just saw, did everything with the only human interventions were me slowing down in the school zone from a safety standpoint. Um, but otherwise the car is doing everything for us. Again, nice job with the four-way stop here. Full stop to zero, and we'll go right. And I guess just so we have it, I'm gonna put it on Mad Max so we see what speed limit it goes here. Because currently I think Mad Max is a bit too quick, but that's just my conservative driver opinion. People go, like we're going 70. This is pretty fast for this road. 71, 72, 73, 74. 74, okay, so 14 over in Mad Max mode. I'm gonna wind it back to chill, just to get us to slow down a bit. And back to standard. So, I personally think FSD drives a little bit too quickly in that Mad Max mode, but that's okay. Um, cool, well that is the whole thing. That is start to finish, assuming it's gonna park us up here again. Um, Incredible job, still room to go, but as for what it's doing today and what it has done in the last two years, it's a marked improvement, without a doubt. Like we've never ended a test loop where we started with the car parking itself. Um, it's insane. So really, really good job, Tesla. Can't wait to see what the next big version is. Um, if you guys like these videos, let me know, but I will see you on the next regular narrated FSD video soon. Bye.